so that they can be cured. And, you know, I have spooky things going on in my house. What can I do to remove those things? Which ayat should I recite to remove those things from my house? So this is a constant thing. And without a doubt, the Qur'an is so powerful in uh, enabling a person to do all of these things. It is, in fact, a shifa, it is a cure for so many illnesses. But one of the main illnesses that it's a cure for is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares Shifa ulima fi sudur It is the shifa and the cure for the illnesses that exist within the heart That is the illness of the weakness of iman, the weakness of faith And then all of the, all of the evil things that come across our heart sometimes In forms of jealousy, hatred and envy, all of these things that are not supposed to be there and we experience them, the Qur'an is the thing that removes those things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is a sign of a person's iman that when the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are recited, وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا تُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Indeed, the people of iman are the ones that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is remembered, their hearts tremble. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّمُونَ When the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are recited, the verses of, of the Qur'an are recited, the iman increases and the tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases. So this is the thing that we need to focus on more than any other thing that we read the Qur'an for. It is to get rid of that, the, the illnesses of the heart and the evils that exist within our heart. The weakness of Iman that exists in our heart. This is the thing to remove that. And the only way to do that is to learn the Qur'an, to understand the Qur'an, to contemplate on what the Qur'an tells us. And whenever there is any tafsir session going on in which the Qur'an is being explained, we have to try to participate in it. We have tafsir sessions going on on Monday by Brother Norman, myself on Thursday, and also uh, I'm sure that Sheikh Abdul Nasir when he comes, he also explains in his sirah verses from the Qur'an. So we need to understand what the Qur'an is telling us, what the message is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us, and that will in turn remove those impurities that I've just mentioned. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the topic to understand and practice what has been said and heard. <laughs> 